Hi, I'm Major Kent Borschelt of the Civil Air Patrol. Today I'm going to do a video real quick on uh, our new device in the squadron that we're using for uh, both as a GPS unit and as a satellite communication unit. So this is a Garmin inReach. Uh, this will be a quick video on how to use it. And then we'll have this in the vehicle. So if you're going out on uh, this, this will be geared primarily towards ground teams, but if you're an air crew member, uh, this device could also be used. The three advantages to this device, it's uh, typical of a GPS, so it's got uh, topo maps and you can use it to navigate to waypoints and save waypoints, but it also has the added advantage of being a uh, satellite communication device. So if this antenna is pointed up and it's high on your body, it's going to read the uh, Iridium satellites, which are passing constantly in a low Earth orbit. And basically those satellites will uh, pass overhead at some point. So the advantage in Colorado is we're on a ground team, a lot of times we're in the mountains where there's not a cell phone signal. And if we don't have line of sight to a repeater tower, then we have no way of communicating. This device, if we wait, uh, it might take a few minutes, but a satellite will pass overhead, grab your uh, signal and your message and deliver it to the incident command post or anybody that you want to that has a cell phone and you can text message them. So I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, right now, this is going to be in the vehicle. Uh, this will be a quick instructions for you on what to do. It starts out with uh, what some of the basic keys do. Then it goes in order. So before your mission, what you need to do, charging the device. Um, starting the mission, when you're at the vehicle, you want to turn it on and acquire the satellites. And then you're going to send a message, uh, ops normal. Talks about during the mission, the basic things that I want everybody to know how to do. Create a waypoint, uh, find your current position, and send messages. And then this has the, the added benefit of being able to track, just like a spot device, it will track your position every 10 minutes. And on a map that the satellite, uh, that the uh, incident commander can see, will basically show your position every 10 minutes on a track line. Um, there is also a, a SOS function on this, which will send a message to the Rescue Coordination Center. Uh, it's a GEOS Rescue Coordination Center. They will then, uh, if you send an SOS, if somebody gets hurt and you need immediate assistance, they will start a text message chat with you on this device and be able to locate you and send help, uh, depending on the situation. So I'm going to demonstrate a couple things real quick uh, with the device. So first of all, if you need to charge the device, this cord is going to be in, in with the device. And on the bottom is the charge port. So you'll open down here and you'll see the charge port. So that's the first thing you need to know how to do before the mission. Next is to turn it on. We're going to hit the top key and you'll see the green light come on and the device will boot up. You're going to use the arrows to get that green over to the turn on. And then this check mark is going to be your enter key. So you hit that. Now the device is turned on and the uh, triangle is shows that it's acquiring the satellites. A few things I want you to know how to do. I put all the uh, icons in the top two rows that you're going to need to use. So uh, preset messages, your current location, uh, custom text messages, how to create a waypoint, how to um, navigate to a waypoint with your compass, and how to start tracking. So the first thing you'll do when you turn it on is let it acquire the satellite. Um, when you go up and acquire the satellite, the first thing I want you to do is go to preset messages, hit the check mark, and we have three messages we can send. An ops normal message, which we'll do regularly, uh, either on the top of the hour or whenever we're tasked to do that. We have a find message, uh, it says find with more information to follow. So if you have a find, um, you'll send that. And then the last message you'll send when you get back to base is the RTB, return to base, mission complete. Each one of these messages, all you've got to do is highlight the message that you want with the arrow key. And then in this case, we'll just hit the check mark. And now it's sending that message. The messages will be sent with your current uh, latitude and longitude. So you can be located on the map. To get out of a menu, the X key is going to take you back. Uh, the next thing I want you to know how to do is find your location. So you arrow over to location, hit the check mark. This is your current coordinates. So north, three niner degrees. So that little thing that you heard was our message going out via the satellite. 
So north 39 degrees, 35 decimal seven minutes, and west 105 degrees, 10 decimal three minutes. So that's our current location if anybody asks you. To get out, we hit the X. Next, custom messages. If we wanted to send a message with uh, information about a beacon that we were turning off or the, anything like that, we could hit that. And then I would click new message. Under type recipients, I enter that menu and I would type just a cell phone number and I can send a text message. So I'd enter that cell phone number then I would come down to message. I would type whatever message I wanted to, to send. And then I would go down to send message and hit send. And you could actually use this to text back and forth with somebody. Next thing I want you to know how to do is create a waypoint. So let's say that we uh, have a find and we wanna create a waypoint. We're gonna click and then we're gonna click new waypoints. We can go down and we can name it, whatever we want. We can go to the coordinates. And if we wanted to navigate somewhere, we could enter the coordinates here. So hit check, hit the check mark again. Let's say I wanted to navigate to uh, north 37 degrees. So there's my coordinates I wanna navigate to. Now I back out and I hit navigate. Now you're going to see a line going to where you're navigating to. That fix is 138 miles away. The easiest way to navigate, I'll get back to the main menu, is to go to your compass. And you'll see an arrow here. So I could basically turn, line up the two arrows, and it's going to take me to that point. So the bearing is 174 magnetic for 138 miles. And the last thing I want you to do is know how to start and stop tracking. So when you start a mission, we're gonna enter there, that menu. We're gonna go uh, start on the tracking. It's gonna ask us if we wanna share the track. So we're gonna say not now. That track is automatically gonna get shared on our map share page, which I'll show you later in the computer. So that's how you start tracking. It's gonna send a point every okay, 10 minutes. Okay, here's what I found. And then we're gonna stop tracking when we need to stop. And that's basically everything you need to know unless you have an emergency. The SOS feature is on the side. If we have an emergency, we're gonna open this hatch. There's a button inside. We would hold that button down. It's gonna start a countdown and then it's gonna start a text conversation with the Rescue Coordination Center and they'll be able to send help to you if necessary. So that's a basic introduction to the Garmin InReach. This will be in the vehicle for all the ground teams to use. Um, I'll put some other information what you're, uh, later in this video to show what the actual incident command will see on our MAPSER page when we actually are creating waypoints. Everything we do on this device will show up on the, uh, on the, the internet for people who have access to our MAPSER page. And the information on the address and the password for that page is also in the uh, sheet that you saw. So that's the video. Uh, I hope this gets you started with using this device. Um, one other thing I'll show you real quick is that there is a map in here with uh, topo maps. So you can use the plus and minus keys to arrow in and out on that map and it will show you topographic features. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, talk to a senior member or anybody who's on the ground team. Thank you.